Hello guys, welcome back. This is R, and we're doing another hero Straight focus ahead. video here. I don't know, focus. Anyways, so today it's frog, frog time. And he has many names and many skins. Oh. This is the one I chose to use. Um, last video we did was about the witch. Uh, and that was because she was the new hero at the time, not many days ago actually, <laughs> and um, there isn't any new heroes don't come along that often yet anyways. So what I'm going to do now is a video on the frog, and not because he's new, but because he's rare, in the sense that he is much more expensive than other heroes. Um, for the very reason that he can only be bought with silver. And silver is the in-game currency, the currency that you can earn in-game and only in-game by playing. As opposed to gold which you can buy, and this guy cannot be bought with gold. So he's pretty expensive. Um, so I thought it would be interesting for people to see how he plays out. I would have preferred to solo here, but we'll give it a go in a dual lane. And uh, just like the last week, I will try to sneak in some commentary detailing his skills. The first one I've taken here now is his axe, is his ranged attack, which is pretty high damage actually, not very... As you can see there, it does quite a bit of damage, if you noticed on her. Um, and the upgrade to the axe, is short cooldown too, the upgrade to the axe will, based on strength, lower the target's stamina and not only lower but lower quite a lot actually we'll take a look at that afterwards it's of utmost importance for the frog to be last hitting because of the second skill he has so that if he had if he had taken gotten a shot off on her we'll actually have had her oh <laughs> you can harass so well with him. Even though he's a melee hero, he has that range attack, and is, unless he's playing against some really something solid, something or other. Oh, look at their health. Taking some damage doing his harassment here. If this uh, centaur was doing it a little bit more as well, we'd have had some kills, but now they're off anyway. So as you can see now, when I get the last hit, I'm getting some heals, and that is basically a second skill. This one, Swallow. First blood. And the upgrade to that Swallow skill gives me mana as well, or energy, when I last hit. So he has a very good sustain as long as he's laning, he runs out of... Uh, mana pretty fast uh, when he's not laning because his guilds are expensive so there now we have the upgrade to the axe as you can see it lowers the target stamina by nine based on strength now i have no strength yet basically so it's nine this early on it can go up to i can't remember exactly but based on strength up to 60 something that's uh, one of the best debuffs in the game really uh, let him harass a bit until we get our third skill, which is the fun skill, the good skill that he has, which we'll get here. Catch 390 prime for that. And he gets a lot of health, so. Oh. There we go, okay, she's dead now. Oh no, she's not. Damn it. Oh, bad play on me. Took way too long. There we go. And I might be dead, but okay. 
Excellent. <laughs> and you get two kills. Excellent. So that was the tongue. And uh, some of you might remember uh, skills similar to this one uh, in other games. Uh, I know there was one in Heroes of New Earth, which is the MOBA that I played the most, except for uh, for this one. Um, and whoop, crap. I'm dead. Maybe not. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, that was a good time sprint it gave me there. Uh, it's similar to that skill that the Abomination kind of uh, hero does, where he grabs things. So it's a tongue, he sticks it out. It's uh, aimed like this, so it's a skill shot, which is cool. It's not, you don't target anyone. You have to actually hit within where you target. And he tongues it out Let's like that. Acquainted. And if the first target that he hits that is not uh, just a target, but uh, an enemy target actually, as opposed to many other games, uh, will be dragged back to him. Now the upgrade to that skill also adds a 1.5 second stun to the tongue. And that is a phenomenal initiation tool. It's awesome for starting team battles. Because uh, you can take one out instantly. If your team is aware of what you're doing, they will know that you're trying to snag something. And <laughs> she knows as well. And they will just jump on that guy that you're pulling in. Now, it's of course mostly useful towards squishy targets. Take them out quickly if they are stupid enough to stand on the front line with a frog sneaking around. But we're not done there. He has more skills. We'll get to it. There we got the upgrade. Now there's a 1.5 second stun on it as well. Let's see if we can get some good skill shots in here. Like that one. Won't be able to do much here, but especially since they have reinforcements coming. Scare them a bit. Avoid that circle, preferably. And if she comes too close. Nope. Okay, we're good. On your noggin! Straight ahead! Yes, a bit more. Always use that axe. Chew them up! Eat some last hits, get some stamina. That was some health and mana back. Let's get oh, I missed him. But oh well. That's right. See all these robe robe heroes, they are pretty easy to kill. The thing with Frog is you don't really do a whole lot of damage. Like you don't have auto attack damage. Oh, <laughs> oh you're so dead. There we go. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing you can do versus a frog, because he will catch you. Uh, now, here we have the third skill. Smash. And, as the icon may indicate... Uh, that was a bad... <laughs> See, now I'm out of mana, this is the problem. Like, even if I'm eating last hits here, I can't really keep up my mana, so I need to... Need to take some mana skills. Okay, we have a ganker here. We'll show them our strength. That's right. Let's get oh, I missed him. Oh, okay, they're coming. So an axe at him. I didn't get the kill, though. I think I got an assist at least. I need some mana now, I really do. And I could take this, but uh, we'll take the energy reserve. Let's go. I have that on pretty much all of my heroes. It's uh, Instead of just mana regeneration, this is usually a lot more useful. Because it will let us... Uh, it basically charges up mana whenever someone, is, uh, someone casts a spell nearby. An enemy that is. I'm talking a bit now to the people that is unfamiliar with the game, as well as a bit to those that know the game very well and just not the frog. 
Um, the third skill, the, the jump as it is, it's a targeted jump. You can jump within here and that circle you can see. Oh, damn it. Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, because of that, they gave up. Uh, I'm going to cut it in from approximately this point in a different fight. So I'll see you there. Okay, guys, we're back. <coughs> different game, harder game. We have the odds against us here, although we do have more kills than them. Than them. <laughs> um. Okay, this might be gang time now. Uh, too slow. So... I haven't gotten the upgrade yet. Oh, there we go. Now, the upgrade to that skill we were talking about. Um, I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna withdraw slightly here, just to be safe. You see the circle now is much bigger than when I'm moving. That's because I'm on native terrain. And that circle that I'm moving around, that is the impact area of the jump. So anything that I land on, basically, the impact area of that jump, will take a lot of damage. And that damage is based on health. Which is why it's important to have a lot of health on the frog. Uh, I have... Usually, until until very recently, I had only, only health items on him. I put some strength on him now. When I started playing him again, uh, it's, I haven't really tested out much, but that is only because I was doing absolutely shit damage. Um, other than ganking. Um, and I want uh, that stamina debuff to have more of an effect, which is based on strength. Now, there was a couple of things I wanted to talk about with the tongue as well. Uh, after I continue talking about the, the upgrade. Yeah, the upgrade does makes it so that you can not only jump once, but you can jump three times in a row. And they cost less and less mana for each jump. And... Let's just Let's him and his shield, we can't kill him with that shield on. So each jump costs less mana and does less damage. So the initial jump now does 258 damage, which is not that much. I don't have enough health yet for it to matter. Oh, oh there we go. He's dead now. Excellent. That was not me at all. Let's get some more health. So, okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they have a GPS snake. I don't want to use my ult to get away, but I might have to. <laughs> no! No, that was such... Oh, that would have been such a good move. Um, Alright, well that was one of the things I wanted to talk about though. One of the things you do when you're in solo lane with this guy is... Like most people, you just sit back, right? But every now and then you can pull them into the tower. And if you just don't use the pull until you have the stun, the tongue I mean, and wait until you have the stun before you use it at all, you can usually trick a few people with that and get either a first blood or or at least a, a kill to even the stats on your lane. And that's was kind of what I tried to do there, like even though I was very low health, uh, I stunned him for a second and a half, right? So I should have had time to get back, uh, if it was only him at least, but there was also the archer, so that got me, I think that was what got me, or some kind of dot anyways. So that was a bit... Annoying. I don't have any boots on him, that's why I'm not really ganking that early. I have uh, a tier 6 speed boost on this guy. Which is probably stupid, but I just happen to have a purple speed boost, which is this one up here on Shaco gives it plus 10 speed. And get some more strength. And I don't really feel like I have enough health yet to go full on. But what I should be doing really is ganking. I'm just not re really a very good ganker. Like, he will take some extra damage now since he's in between our mobs. And he used his ult and everything, so... Yeah, 
There we go. Get finish that one. Okay, we have more people here. Yeah, you got him. I can't kill that guy while he's in ultimate mode. Or at all, possibly. Uh, I didn't even... <laughs> uh, if I had got my hammer on him. Ah, uh, bad play by me. Okay, so I have uh, Flowing Fury on the frog, and I find that to be useful since he has only single target damage. This will help me clear lanes a bit. Uh, let's see, what's this at? Seven... We have seven kills, they have six. We have... They have a slight prime lead on us. Uh, we'll have to get there before he destroys that tower. I don't have my ult yet. I'll have to try to distract these mobs. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, Flowing Fury, for those of you who haven't had it yet, is basically a little continuous AoE dot around you. Not a dot, it's just pulses. Get him down this time. There we go. Now. I'm starting to get my health items. Starting to become a little bit more tanky. Which will be useful. <laughs> She's afraid now. I should probably start roaming a bit more too, but as I said, I'm, I'm bad at that. Okay. There's so much going on all over the map now, I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> Near this tree. Maybe she chases me. And we caught in the tree. Okay, I gotta go away. Help! Okay. Oh, there's three of them here now. Okay, I might be in trouble. I'm gonna leave that tower because otherwise they would just gank me. They're in that jungle now. To get my health back up. What's that guy? Oh, he's in a tree. <laughs> okay. I was wondering why he was so static there. Okay, something's going on here now. This poor chair. Running for a bit. Throw axe. There we go. Num -num. More health. I need the health. My tongue is on cooldown, can't catch it. Okay, now we're gonna start roaming around. We'll show them our strength. And he's still working down there. So many trees in the middle here. We have two of those woodsman type heroes. Her? Yep, so that's what I mean. That's a good initiation. Now all of a sudden we are more than them on site, so to say. Oh, these trees. And I have no DPS. Oh. That would have almost taken me out. It is not safe for me here now. And it's a lot of effect. Effects lagging me out. I'm not sure if I even want to... I need to be a little bit up front here too. 
Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Unpractical. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go get health again, because I can't do much here with, with such a low health. Let's see, what should we get? So, I'm off to 4,500 health now. I think I have 6,500 when maxed on this frog, which starts to do a bit more damage, but it's not awesome, the jump. It does damage to many targets. That is the good thing. Support down here again, help them out. And I forgot to heal up properly. I was standing outside that thing, that was stupid. Oh, the tree. I have to stay back. And turn. So many things doing damage. So we're making some vague victories here. <laughs> Take those skills that build up over time. And. Oh, damn it, come on. No, I was gonna get the woodsman. I'm gonna get caught by the tree instead. And I. Oh, it's great to die too. Whew. I hate trees. Although I love playing woodsman, it's, it's a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do a video on him sometime. Okay, there we go. We're done with all the um, overtime skills now. You know, in this game, you have a lot of skills. They are almost mostly passives. Some of them requires a certain amount of kills or a certain amount of uh, time in order to reach their full potential. So I want to get those out of the way as soon as possible after the class skills. Okay, I'm a bit under leveled actually, which is not good. With Frog, usually it's best to solo lane, and it's best to... Because you can sustain very well as solo lane, so you should be able to... to get a lot more health that way. Alright, nice, I got it here. Jump, and jump. Jump to this one. Hopefully it's not invincible yet. Excellent, we got him. We got axe. We got to get his tree. And not chase like that. Eh. Eh. Or that one. Need my speed? Nah, don't have it. There we go. On your Just one that I thought they were safe. Excellent. And now we get speed. Now we have plus, plus 10. There's so many trees around here. <laughs> I don't want to go, go even anywhere near these weird looking vegetation here. Thankfully Cryo is taking it out with her AoE. No. No, 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 no. Get out of here. I'm a rookie. Stun that guy. There's also one thing you can use it for. Like when someone is chasing you, you can actually get rid of them by pulling them towards you temporarily. That uh, guy is starting to annoy me. Need to get him caught in this tree. Run here, guy. Uh, he can taunt again soon. And. Oh. <laughs> See, this is the thing. Always turn around, try to lash out the tongue to get them into your towers before they... Just when they were thinking they should turn back. It's basically the Frog 101. I have failed at all of my attempts, which is... Not, not the perfect example, but... No! They start tongue. Why? So much regen on that guy. Dunk. 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 
Control, master. That's right. Stay away. More health. I should have probably actually taken the legendary health. Let's which go. I have one of. I'm not sure how I got it. But they are tearing down our sides, though. Oh, there's no towers left here. I can't do anything there. I can go, mate. We'll show See if them I can, our strength. can get rid of that tower. Let's see, I can't clear lanes, and there's a tree there. Let's go! No! <laughs> I knew it. Get rid of that tree. Oh, my axe gets rid of the trees pretty fast. And here they come. I'm not too afraid of... Oh, that guy's... Well, I'm not afraid of him per se, he's just really, really annoying over time. I can't kill him, he can kill me, but it takes him forever. Let's see if we can stop that guy. Instead. He's really solid though. Oh, he's porting? Oh, here he is. On your noggin! Let's get a quake! Let's go! That's right! Ah, oh, come on. Test my we'll show them oh, he's pulling strength. us to the trees here. Okay, there's an action up here. Okay, we're kind of split now. This is not good. Time for an escape. Shake the earth, So, the, the jump as well has multiple purposes. I think we're losing though. <laughs> Unfortunately. And miss. He's got too much regen now, I need to stay near the towers. On your noggin! That's right! Assault mastery. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Slow his stamina at the very least. Yeah, they're too solid now, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do. Nope, nope, oh damn it. All that life steal. So there's another trick you guys can use. When you're about to die, go in here. And pay attention to the minimap and hope that they leave. <laughs> Which they're not gonna do now. If I exit, I will die. Oh, I might be able to sneak around here. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. One of the coolest things I ever did with a frog was they were breaking in through this way. And I got here. And I pulled one up with a tongue from down there up here. And they die very fast up here. That is the best shot so far. Uh, one of the most fun things to do with frog is those kind of things. And... Pulling invisible people out of invis by guessing where they were and into an area with visibility. But anyway, so we lost this one. Uh, but I think still that we got to display a few of the frog's skills. And I hope that is useful to anyone who is considering buying the frog. He's not a carry per se, he can get pretty tanky. And uh, he's a ganking utility and an initiator of sorts and a chaser of course. Uh, but all in all, for those of you who say that the frog is overpowered, like there's always someone that says that something is overpowered unless they actually have that hero. And no, he's not. Yeah, the frog is not overpowered. There are way better heroes than the frog, but it's very fun to play. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you for the next one.